Okay, so I guess this is take two because I screwed up the video. Uh, so I just recently got a Tel Dell PowerVolt MD1200 uh, 12 bay disc shelf. I currently have it configured to be a single span. Uh, you can split it if you really wanted to, so it would be six and six um, if you really wanted to configure it that way. I don't know. I think it would just make more sense as a single span. If you needed to reconfigure it, just configure it on the RAID card, really. Um, but it sounded like a jet engine, and I didn't see any videos on this, and this is mainly for my documentation purposes so that I don't forget where I can come back to the video if I need to reconfigure one of these damn things. So what I got was a it's an RS-232 serial to the, the management port. I forget the specific standard on that. Um, anyway, so I got one of those cables. That I think they sell them on eBay as like password reset cables or whatever. Makes no sense why they call them that. But um, if you have two expanders... Just plug it into the top one. It's usually going to be the default. Uh, for whatever reason, your configurations don't take. Plug it into the second one. Try again. It should get you there. Uh, if you don't, for whatever reason, have a system like a T620 or something that has a serial port on it, if you're working with server hardware, surely you have something. Uh, you'll need to buy a USB to RS-232 serial adapter. Other than that, that's basically how you're just going to hook it up. Really straightforward, not complicated at all. Uh, once you have it plugged into the system, go ahead and pull up Putty. Uh, the configurations here, so I went ahead and made a saved configuration for the debug shell. Uh, mine's on COM2, so if you have a tele Dell PowerEdge equipment, the, the COM1 is on the front. Com 2 is on the back. Uh, so go ahead and set the speed. 38400. Uh, you're going to need to change that. So instead of Telna, it should be set to raw. Serial raw. Make sure it's configured that way. Uh, go to your serial configurations. Make sure there's no weird configurations you have from here. So it's 38400. Uh, data rate 8 bits. Stop bits 1. None x on slash x off um all right and then just go ahead and open up the connection i'm going to close out of that one open uh, you're going to get a black screen so there's going to be no information on it just go ahead and hit enter that ensures if you see blue dress you know you managed to make the connection uh go ahead and do underscore it's devils and that should spit out all of the configs. Yeah, so it does. All right, and that spits out basically all the commands that you're going to need for it. And yeah, and then pretty much what you're going to do is if you're just going to want to set the fan speed, it looks like there's some configurations that aren't listed here. Uh, luckily, some guy did copy all the the commands here into this. I'm probably I'm gonna add this to like the description or something. So you guys just read the description if you're looking for specific commands. Um, but what you're gonna be looking for for fan control is probably set speed and then that that should work out for you. Uh, I set mine to 20 just because I don't know it sounded like a jet turbine. I think it was set to 75 or 50 or something like that uh, when I first got the system. So I went ahead and just reconfigured that. There should be a temp, just to make sure your system isn't overheating. Let me double check. <laughs> Where is temp? Uh, fail temp, set temp. Obviously, I don't need to set temp. Clear temp. Temp read. There you go. This is the one I want. Temp read. 
So let's go ahead and grab the temps, because right now, like I said, it's currently configured to 20%. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. Let me try it this way. Unknown command. Okay, so for whatever reason, this command doesn't work. I don't see it here in this list either. So I'm probably going to need to update the firmware on this. And I guess that'll be video two for updating the firmware on my machine. But that's how you're going to be able to set the fan control at the very least. And you guys should be good to go. Hopefully that's useful to somebody.